when I say sleek, it is sleek. Like, my fingers are, like, slipping off my edges because they're so, like, laid. Like, I can't do this anymore. Hey, guys. Today's video will be how I achieve this high bun look with sleek edges. And this video is especially for my four hair type chicks who find it hard to obtain sleek edges with, you know, these coils, these kinks, whatever's going on, these curls. So yes, um, I'm gonna get a close up so you guys can pretty much see the edges are laid. Look at that hair shining, laid girl. Oh, I really like this. So today I tried out a new product which I actually just got yesterday from um, Target and it was $9. The product that I'm referring to is the, the Curls Blueberry Bliss control paste and um this is supposed to smooth unruly edges add sheen and create your favorite natural style okay it's formulated with organic blueberry extract and argan oil proven to encourage hair growth so before i was using this for my edges i was using my um olive oil eco styler gel which is also seen in my tutorial um, this is really good for holding my hair up and I really like it. It doesn't flake or anything like that. The only thing I don't like about it is that it doesn't really give me the sheen that I'm getting with this. I really like this a lot. Thank you all for tuning into this video. If you have not done so already, please subscribe down wherever the button is and leave a comment down below telling me how you like this video or if you have used any of the curl products from this brand, please let me know because I am going to be interested in buying another product. So thank you all for watching my video and let's jump right in. So today I'll be starting off my hair with an old twist out. I just slept with it up in the pineapple method and I just pushed it all to the top of my head. I'm just going to try to refresh some of these curls by picking my hair out, making sure I um, pick the hair out in the back, on the sides, or anywhere where I can see it's kind of smushed down due to the way I was sleeping. Next, I'm going to take my Shea Moisture in the Curl Enhancing Smoothie and I'm just going to lather up the base of my hair to again try to refresh some of those curls. I don't want to put it all the way on the ends and at the top because I don't want my hair to shrink that much. So I'm just going to make sure I smooth that in with my hands and then I'm going to take my brush and make sure that product really gets into my hair. I am using the soft side of this brush which has both a soft and firm side. I'm just going to use that soft side to make sure that product stays in my hair and I don't know what that was but yeah. Now I'm going to take my Eco Styling Gel and the Olive Oil Formula and I'm just going to rub that into my hands to kind of warm it up and then I'm going to apply that again to the base and perimeter of my hair trying not to get those ends um, wet or anything like that because I don't want my hair to shrink. Last but not least, I'm going to take my Curls Blueberry Control Paste. I'm going to again rub that through my hair. And now I'm going to concentrate that more on my edges and the lower part of the base of my hair. I'm not going to carry that as high as I did the other products. I want to keep that very low and controlled so that my hair doesn't become too gelled or too sticky. And I'm just going to make sure I push that into my hair. I 
keep in mind every time you add a product or brush your hair, you want to make sure that it is beginning to form the puff. Now taking a regular elastic band that I just cut in half, I am going to wrap it around the base of my hair once and begin to pull it with both hands. Now I'm going to take my thumbs, take them to the back of my head and begin to slide it up gradually. Every time I slide it up slowly, I'm going to tighten it in the front. You want to make sure you're not applying too much pressure or it's not too loose so that it won't have this slick effect. Now that you have reached the place where you want to have your puff, you want to make sure you pull it tight just to make sure it stays secure for this next step. Take about two or three bobby pins and place them in the front of your hair where the two ends of the elastic bands meet. This is going to hold your band in place while you begin to fix the rest of your hair. I say to hold it tight just because as soon as you put the bobby pins in, it will loosen up a, quite a bit. Now that the bobby pins are in the front, you want to tighten it just a little bit and take it around and do the same exact steps on the back. You want to make sure that the two ends of the elastic band are crossed and you take two or three bobby pins to secure the back of the band in the back of your head. Once the band is secure, you want to take the two loose ends and tuck them somewhere up in the either the puff ball or up underneath the elastic bands, which are my personal preference. Now that you have your puff, you better fluff away, girl. Go ahead and fluff out that puff ball. Make it big, make it nice. Ooh, look at those edges. Yes, yes, yes. This last step is completely optional, but I like to take out a little bit of the sides of my hair, curl it a little bit, just to give it a cute little dainty touch to this hairstyle. I really do this for a lot of my hairstyles and I find that it gives it a little more flavor. Now for my undercut ladies or gentlemen, this part is very crucial because you have a sleek puff. You wanna make sure that the back of that neck is looking nice. So I'm just gonna take that brush and brush down that undercut and make sure it's cute. And now you just want to make sure you're shaping and forming your puff into a style that suits you. This style is so easy and so low maintenance. It is very cute and I love the way that the curl control paste has helped my edges for this style. So this is the final look. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you all are by a Target or any beauty supply store, I encourage you to stop by and pick up the Curls Blueberry Control Paste. As always, thank you all for watching my video. If you are not subscribed, do so down below. And I hope you all like this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.